leaned over. I'm Wayne Miller. And I'm Kenna Griffith filling in for Ethany Andre, and today is an A day. The SAT word of the day is incumbent, which means currently holding office. Spike the Teachers will be tomorrow at 6 p.m. Come and watch as a team of faculty members compete against a team from each grade level. Students in grades 6 through 12 can participate. If you sign up ahead of time, it's only $3 to enter. Otherwise, it will be $4 at the door. The lost and found box located in the middle school lobby is full and will be sent to donation on November 9th. Also, the middle school has a purse and a Nintendo DS holder. If you are missing these, please inquire with the middle school office. Shooting tryouts will be next Monday, November 5th, in the high school cafeteria. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Hegarty or Ms. Davis Bogan. Today after school, there will be a philosophy club meeting in room 1004. Speak to Annika Gazzoli or Mr. Anderson with any questions. Attention 7th and 8th graders, the class of 2021 will be holding the next middle school activity night from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. this Friday, November 2nd. Be sure to bring $5 to enter the event. Peer Leadership will be hosting a new student luncheon in room 1071. Today during 6th period, all new students are invited to attend. Free food will be served. If there are any seniors who do not yet choose their portrait for the yearbook, please see Miss Kelly by Friday during 6th or 7th period to pick it out or the yearbook club will choose one for you. Attention seniors, if you plan on dressing up tomorrow, we will be taking a group picture at the end of first period in the courtyard. Please be there by 7.50 if you want to be photographed. This weekend, the Dover Theatre Company presents their first play of the school season, All My Sons. Performances are this weekend, November 2nd and 3rd at 7 p.m. and November 3rd at 2 p.m. Tickets are $8 for adults and $6 for students and seniors. Audition materials for the high school spring musical, Mamma Mia, are now available in the chorus room. Auditions are on Thursday, November 8th from 2 to 5 in the auditorium. Now on Haley Kirk with the weather. Woo! Happy Halloween, Dover. Today you can expect good temperatures for trick-or-treating. The average temperature will be 61 degrees and the low will be 51 degrees. There should be no precipitation. I hope everyone has a fun and safe night tonight. Now on to ESDN. I'm Caprice Williams. And I'm Matt Holder. And, and this, this is ESDN. ESDN. There will be a modified boys and girls soccer game against Weba Tech on Thursday at 4.15. Calling all students. It's that time of year. Yep, you guessed it. Spike the teachers. Come out and compete against your teachers in a volleyball match you're going to want to brag about. The game will take place in the middle school gym at 6 o'clock. Be sure to show up and show out. And that's all for sports. Now on to McKenna with college updates. Boo! <laughs> the deadline to register for the December SAT and ACT is Friday, November 2nd. You must register online in order to sign up for the exam. The SAT exam is December 1st, and the website to go to is collegeboard.com. The ACT exam is December 8th, and you must sign up on act2student.com. Let your guidance counselor know if you have any questions. Representatives from Niagara and Dominican College will be visiting us today. If you would like to meet with a representative, please sign up on Google Classroom. Now let's get back to me and Wayne with the joke of the day. So, Kenna, what's the joke of the day? Why are ghosts so bad at lying? Why? Because you can see right through them. <laughs> <laughs> A very spooky <laughs> happy birthday to Myra Ramirez and Liddy Rope Kahita. I hope all seniors are decked out in their best costumes today. Stay safe and have fun, Dover. And on that note, have, have a, a spooktacular, spooktacular Halloween, Halloween Dover. Dover.